Hi guys, this is Mina and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the select statement in SQL Server Management Studio. The select statement is used to retrieve data from a table. Other data manipulation languages include the insert, delete and update statements, which we've already looked at in my previous videos. So if you have not seen them, feel free to click on the links in the description section to watch those videos. The select statement, as I just mentioned, is used to select or retrieve data from a table. And the syntax is, you type out the word select and the column you want to select, type out the word from and the table, the column is situated. If the table you are selecting or retrieving data from, has more than one columns, then you can select multiple columns separated by comma from that same table. Let's move on to our SQL Server Management Studio and try this out. In our SQL Server Management Studio, I'll go to New Query and select database that I want to work in. I want to work in the exploration data we imported. In my previous video okay so the syntax for select I'm going to paste it here okay as I just mentioned you type out the word select and the column name so let's go into our databases we are working in our exploration data database I'll go to tables okay so these are the tables I'm going to be selecting data from first of all let's work in our employees table to see columns in a table, you have to click on the plus sign and go to columns. So I want to see employee ID from the table is employees. I'll go ahead and execute this command. These are all the employee IDs I have in my employees table. Like I mentioned previously, if you have more than one columns in a table, just as I have multiple columns in my table employees, you can select multiple columns separated by comma. So I can put a comma here and select the first name column as well from the employees table and that should give me employee ID and first name. And you can keep on adding columns as you go. Okay, execute. In SQL Server Management Studio, if you want to select all columns, you can use the symbol star, which is shift and the number eight. So select star from the table. And that should select all the columns from the table. So this is how to select data from a table in SQL Server Management Studio. One of the simplest ways to select data from a table is to right click on the table and select this built-in option that says select top thousand rows so this is selecting the top thousand rows but it gives you a quick overview of how the select statement works if you don't want top thousand rows you can just delete that so select employee id first name last name email title gender shift name and number of hours and that's what it's showing here so we can execute this command again and we have less than 1,000 rows, so it's, I mean, it's going to give us the same answer. This is just the beginning. We will be building up on this basic principle to select even complex data from, from very large data sets. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.